Yeah. Jimmy, Chairman Jimmy, how you doing? What's up? Uh, yes, I know tomorrow's match is, is really important. I, I know we have to win to make the playoffs. I know we haven't been playing that well. What, what am I going to do about it? Actually, I have a plan. So we're using our new data scientist, and I've asked him to comb over all of our matches through the year, and he's preparing a special report now for me. I'm going to use that after practice to come up with a secret plan for tomorrow's match that's going to give us the edge. Yeah, we are a data-driven club right now. I've got it covered, so don't don't worry. We're on this. And, and Jimmy, by the way, um, facilitate... Hang up. Mm. Let's see here. Oh, yes. Data report. Nice. He's got it. All right. So let's go through this real quick. Raiders hat. When I wore the Raiders hat, one win and one draw. Ah, that's pretty good, but I think we can do better. Red Sox. Boston Red Sox hat. One win. Ooh, four losses and a draw. Nope. Definitely out. Cubs hat. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Four wins, two losses, two draws. That's a 50% win rate for this hat, but... I feel like there's still probably going to be something better here. What do we got here? Uh, Minnesota hat. Oh, nice. Seven wins and two losses. Oh, but it says here one of the losses was in the playoffs, and tomorrow's match is kind of like a playoff match. That makes me a little bit nervous. Let's see. Minnesota uh, Gophers hat. Four wins and a draw. Undefeated in the five times I've won this hat. Yes, we've got it. This is the answer. Data science for the win. Ha <laughs> ha. We found the lucky hat. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Devotion to Promotion, where we're trying to take Nuneaton Borough from the bottom of British football, English football, all the way to the top. And yes, we've used data science to identify our lucky hat because we're going to need it today. The results have not been good. We're kind of falling apart here as we end the season. And we need some points to qualify for the playoffs. So we'll take a look at that situation. We'll take a look at our results. And then we're going to jump right into a huge match. If we win, we qualify for the playoffs. If not, we probably have to win our last match to qualify for the playoffs. We're playing Knotts County today, who are five points behind us. Two matches left. So if they win, it's going to get really close here. So a huge match. That's why we're bringing out all the stops to try to turn around our fortunes here. But let's take a look at the schedule here. When we were last together, we played Tranmere to that 0-0 draw. They sat way up high in the table with us. We followed that with a 2 to nothing loss on the road against Plymouth, who is mid-table. Just couldn't do anything, which is kind of typical. We're not scoring and we're giving up more goals than we were before. And we didn't, we never really were dominating teams that much. So I think it's been that combination of O'Brien being replaced by Hutchinson, where we're kind of giving up one more goal a match. And then for whatever reason, the loss of Byrne, um, Scrimshaw just isn't providing goals for us. And so we're just, we're just losing, losing. But we did rebound after that Plymouth match. We came back and played Burton Albion, who is right up in third place now. Automatic promotion spot they're looking for. Um, we beat them 2-1. to one. We're up one nothing, tied 1-1, one to one, and then late we scored to win 2-1. to one. So that was fun. So the good thing about this, there's still some good stuff and all kinds of bad news. We beat Gillingham, the, the four teams at the top of the table. We won two matches, drew one, and lost one. So that's pretty good against the top talent in the team. The problem is we then fall apart against the bottom talent against the team. So I don't get what's going on. Carlisle, we drew two to two, and they sit, where are they, 16th. So again, in the bottom half, we were up two to one in the 88th minute, and they scored to tie it. So huge, disappointing loss of points here. The Oldham match was the kind of the epitome of frustration. We were losing one to nothing. They got a red card with about 55 minutes into the game. And I thought, yes, we went attacking and turned up the screws. They immediately scored and went up two to nothing. We came back and scored one, but we could not score against them despite getting a ton of shots. So we lost that match two to one. Oldham again, I think they're they're fairly high. Oh, no, they're not. 17th place. They're, they're not good at all. So again, these matches where we play well and can beat a top table team and then we just lose against the bottom. I've tried everything. I don't know what's going on. So we're using data science now to make the deciding edge. So if we take a look at the table, we have fallen off completely. We are now out of the race for automatic promotion. 
Uh, Gillingham, Southend, and Burton Albion look like they're going to be the teams to make that. We are in a cluster really here of six teams now fighting for these spots. It looks pretty good except for the fact that we've been losing all of our matches and completely falling apart against other teams. We're five points up over both Walsall and Notts County, and Tranmere and Chesterfield still kind of behind us as well. So things look pretty good. A win today would guarantee a playoff spot for us. Ideally, I'd love to get one of these home spots so that we don't have to go on the road and try to win in the playoffs there. We will. So we're playing Notts County, who has 67 points. If they win, they would be two points behind us. These teams are more than likely going to pass us or catch up, and that puts it to a really squeaky bum time for a last match of the season. But I'm hopeful so we can win this match here today. And that is where we're heading to. And so without any further side stories except for one side story, I did want to share this because it's becoming somewhat more humorous as time goes on. Adam Phillips, you may remember in the last episode, we talked about his remarkable injury record and how he got his second sports hernia and was out. He finally came back from his sports hernia. We were working up into match shape and then he ripped his leg open with another gash. So he's been out for another 10 days or so, and we're finally trying to work him back into match shape. Of course, he's mad at me for not playing him, despite the fact that he has been in match shape only for a couple of games, a couple of matches all year. So Adams Phillips racked up his fourth injury. Amazingly, two teams seem to want him, both Coventry and Oxford United. So I think the, the solution to the Adam Phillips problem is pretty clear. As soon as we're done with this season... He's going on the transfer list because we spent 1,200 pounds per week, and I think we got three matches out of the guy. He's awesome when he plays, but he just isn't ready to play. But anyway, with that having been said, let's dig right into this. What my plan is, I'm going to play this match, and if we lose this match, I'm going to come back tomorrow for the next match because that's just going to decide whether we make the playoffs. And we'll probably do daily episodes this week, shorter episodes just to kind of take us through to the end of this season and through the playoffs and things like that. Here is our... Lineup for today. And I think I'm going to go 4 1 2 3 because we're playing at home against a pretty good team, and a draw kind of works us in our favor. If we get two draws, we make the playoffs as well. And the 4 3 3 hasn't been working. The 4 1, the 4 2 3 1 hasn't been working. Although I've been watching Ahab, the gamer's episodes, and he mentions that he thinks the 4 2 3 1 is broken since the update, and that's been my experience too. Our center midfielder, Kirby, when we put him up there in that three roll, whoever plays there gets terrible ratings, and we do terrible. We can't score. So I didn't know that, and now I know that, so I think I'm going to stay away from that formation. And so we're going to go with the 4, 1, 2, 3, and see how that works, because, well, you know, I really don't know what to do. Nothing's working, so this is I might as well try it kind of thing. Uh, we'll go with kind of, again, what got us here during the season. Uh, some points we're going to play. Delcroy at our ball-winning midfielder, our defensive midfielder. He's done a remarkable job when he's been in there. Kirby has not played well of late. Uh, Robinson out on the left. Barron has not played well. Neither of our right wingers have played well. And then Scrimshaw finally got a goal in the last match, but that's only his second goal, I think, in 12 appearances for us. So not working out as a solution at striker, but I'm going to try to play the hot hand because nobody's been scoring from striker or pretty much anywhere for us anyway. Good news is we have Kise back from injury. We have Martin back from injury. He will be on the bench and can come in from the right side. And we do have our goalkeeper, Pat O'Brien, is back. He's only at 81% match sharpness, but I think an 81% Pat O'Brien is better than the 97% um, Hutchinson. And so we're going to go with Pat O'Brien, and hopefully he's fit enough to do the job here. With that being said, let's get this started. I am kind of nervous. A win would put it to bed, which would be great. And then we could just concentrate on the playoffs here. They are in strong. We are inconsistent, although we are favored because we are at home here. Let me switch to some audio. There is our thing. Let me just take a quick look at the bench. Yeah, all that looks good. I might try to get... um, Oh, yeah, our backup goalkeeper is Richard Slater, our 15-year-old who just plays Nintendo on the end of the bench because the stupid rule is is hurt, and he's, but he still can... I, I, but that's okay. I, I know, but I still want to play with him. I don't care that he's hurt. Ah, okay. I'm going to pause this and fix this problem, which is going to take a little bit longer than I thought. Okay, I think this is going to work. I found this guy, A. Roper. He was the mystery guy that just showed up, the 31-year-old goalkeeper that I never signed that just popped up into the roster, excuse me, for whatever reason. And I think if I stick him up there, he qualifies to submit for the stupid rule. Can we submit the team? Yes. All right. (laughs) Nice. Problem solved. And off we go. 
It is wet and eight degrees centigrade. They are going with a 4231. Hopefully their 4231 doesn't work here. Tactics, opposition. Oh, great. Reporters in the tunnel. Ask assistant. I don't remember how we did against them earlier in the season. I don't remember if we won uh, at home or won away or, or not, but probably should know that. Let's go to team talk. Tell them they're expected to prove a point today. Oh, we don't want that. Don't want to tell them how good Nuts County's been. Uh, this is a big match for us and bigger for their supporters, so let's give them a good performance. Let's try that. Didn't seem to do very much, but I have faith in you should do this. This is one of those kind of franchise-defining matches, I think. I mean, this playoffs would be nice. Even if we don't make it, it would be disappointing to fall out of the playoffs here. Let's end the team talk, and let's go to the tunnel. Hopefully it's just one question. Your non-eaten side will confirm a spot in the playoffs with the win here. Are you confident of seeing it through and getting the required result? Uh, we've put ourselves in the best possible position already, so if the faith in the players will now see it through. We'll try that. Knott's County's recent good run has them fifth in the EFL two-form table. How much of a threat do they pose? I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we can put a dent in their ambitions. Given Pat O'Brien's lack of match fitness, how long can he last out there? He's good to go. If he encounters any setbacks during the match, we'll deal with them accordingly. No, we won't. We have no backup plan except for Mr. Roper, the emergency goalkeeper, who I don't, I don't know what he can even do. Steven Sessegnon has required, has reigned supreme at the back for Knott's County. How do you throw him off his game? We're focused on what we can do to team to beat their team. That's how football is played. Yes, all right. Here we go. Come on, for the Nuneaton fans. We are in our blue and whites, and Knott's County is in the greens. We are going, of course, right to left now. It is underway. Things just haven't been good for us. I mean, other teams have been having the highlights. Oh, nice. Scrimshaw in. Center that. Oh, and he's offside anyway. Okay. Oh, nice. Free kick. Kirby. Gah. That's not the highlight, right? The highlight's coming now. No, it's not coming now. Well, it's been in their end. Okay, that's good. Callum Casey gets a yellow card already. Uh, tactics. Hmm. So I like the start, and now I'm not necessarily that excited that we've got a yellow card on our outside back so early. But could be worse. 12 minutes in. Two shots to zero. So our 4-2-3-1 seems to be working four shots. This is starting to feel pretty good. Let's demand more. Let's light them up now. Yes. Okay, they're going to kick it right to us. It's going to kick it to Scrimshaw. That's going to be us. Good. Baron can dribble. Good. Yes. In, ah, oh, Robinson. Six shots to three, though. They haven't had a shot yet. That's, that's encouraging. This is, this looks and feels better than anything I've seen us put in here. Pass. Oh, Robinson. Come on, lad. We need to hit those. 30 minutes in. Seven shots, and they still haven't managed a shot for Knott's County. 35 minutes in. Uh-oh. Oh, thank gods. Yeah. I think I did something just to tick off the football gods here. So that's their first shot. Okay. It's okay. Get inspired. Get creative. Here we go. Come on. We got to score anyway. Scott. Oh. Two free kicks. Two people. And we haven't scored on a set piece in like forever. Uh, what's our defender? Our def <clears throat> Defenders are just standing there. <sighs> Sad. Okay. Performance was disappointing. Expect to see a much better showing. Passionate. Let's go passionate. Uh, no, that doesn't work. Expect to see a much better showing. Passionate. It's a lot more to come for you, and I believe you've got what it takes. This, maybe this is setting us up here. Uh, there's a lot more to come for you, and I believe what it takes. Attack. Passionate. It's a lot more to come for you, and I believe you've got what it takes. Oh, my God. Robinson, 6.3. Scrimshaw, 6.4. Barron, 6.8 on the right. Gah! Okay. And our undefeated hat here... Data science is not working. Well, wait a second. We're going to need to lean into this a little bit. Positive. Okay, here we go. 
Robinson, do something productive. Let's get one soon here. Get one early. A draw is okay. Kirby, out. Ah, they're just sitting back now, aren't they? I think okay, we can only we can't just burn through time here. We haven't got a shot. They're obviously just sitting back on us now. 55 minutes. Okay, we need to do something. I think we have to go for it. Let's go to... Let's pull Delcroy out. Let's bring Aiden George in for Delcroy. We got to go for it. And we're going to go with our 4-2-4. Four, four. I'm going to put him as target man support. We got to get offense up here. Winger... Let's go inverted, inside forward attack, inverted winger attack. Here we go. Shorter passing play for set Pete. I will leave that. Positive. Let's try positive for a little bit and see how that works. All right, immediately we got a highlight. Yes, that's encouraging. Still, never gotten that achievement in FM 19 or FM 20. We're down by two goals at halftime to coming back for a win here. So maybe we can get that today. Uh-oh. Gah, Clark. We need better outside backs. Goof. That was a nice save, though. So our 4 2 4, as soon as we put it in, they get a great shot off. And now they get another set piece. Okay, he hits it over. We need to demand more. Okay, we're getting highlights anyway. The 424 should make it more interesting and exciting. Ogumbo, good. Good. Baron can go right by him. Good. Pass the center in front. Yes. Yes. All right, we got one back. He's going up. There we go. Baron to Robinson. Okay, here we go. This would be kind of cool, actually. Baron, Robinson, confirm shout. If we could come back down to nothing and get that achievement that I've never gotten, which is down two goals at halftime and win. Promising here. It's encouraging. We're only a couple minutes into the 4-2-4. And we've got our first goal. Let's get a second one here. Looks like trying to work in the ball. Here we go. Good. Highlight. Baron again. It's the lightning rod. Nice. Back to Kirby. Kirby out to Kise. We're drawing him out here. Kirby. Good. Has three men on him. Baron again. Oh, corner. Good, good, good. Actually, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to mess with my set pieces. Let's see what we're doing here. Corners. Because what we've been doing has not been working. I think is that... Okay, that's fine. Let's just do that. Play. On Kirby. Hit that far post. Get it in there. Oh, so close. Okay, that's encouraging. Let's get another one here. We'll go to 70 minutes and we'll go attacking. Come on, let's get another shot. Another highlight. We need a draw here. We need a draw. Don't want to go to that last match. 70 minutes. Let's get another sub in here. Who's not doing well? Uh, 6.4, Scrimshaw. Aiden George is fine. Robinson on the left. We got our goal. Let's get... Uh, do I have another striker here? I could put Baron up at striker. Oh, let's do that. Yes. Let's put Baron up at attacking forward. And then we're going to bring Martin, who's been hurt, and get him crossing the ball in on a winger support. I like this idea. Here we go. And tactics. Did we do that? Tactics attacking, 72 minutes. Did we do that? Tactics positive. Nope, we got to go attacking. And let's go six more minutes here. Good, good, good. Come on. Come on, boys. Get a highlight. Don't go down quietly. 80 minutes. Time to push everybody up into the pool. Here we go. Shorter passing. Uh, how about hit early crosses? Let's try that. And let's give up the, let's go direct regular passing out of possession. Let's push up our lines. Distribute quickly, counter press. That'll work. Get stuck in. Use offside trap. Let's go way up. Okay. I think that'll work. Well, I don't know if that'll work, but it'll certainly get things going here. Uh-oh. Corner for them. Come on, come on. Clear it. Come on, lads. Clear it. Not again. Ooh, nice. Saved by our defender. Good, George. Get it. Run. Ah, oh, we need a highlight. Very attacking. We'll go to 85 and then we'll shout at everybody. Come on. Shout at everybody. Push forward. Let's make our last sub, too. What do we got here? Ryan Clark. No, we don't want to replace him. Sona for Dixon Bonner. Nya Kirby. 
Why has he been so bad? Okay, let's go Sona for Dixon Bonner. Let's make central midfielder support. Let's try that. Sona's been good of late. Uh-oh. This feels bad. We have nobody defending in front of our defensive line. Come on. Get the ball. Yes. Good, good, good. Get it. Get it. Us. Blue player. Grab it. Gah. Uh-oh. No. Okay. Plenty of time, though. There's 10 minutes. We can get a goal. All we need is one goal. A tie is to our advantage here. Come on. Look at all the people here. There's so many people here. So distracted. Good. Get the ball over the bar. Good. Excellent. We're going to get this. We're out shooting them 12 to 8. Okay, here we go. Here's our highlight. Clark to Robinson. Sona picks it up. Taps it into Kirby. Oh, got to be better. Come on, boys. Oh, not a corner down here. Get it. Give it up. Ah, it's their highlights. We need it down the other end. Ah, we're going to lose. We lost. Gah. I'm going to blow the whistle, aren't I? Right here. This is that blow the whistle spot. Go forward. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Martin, come on. Never give up hope. Baron in. Oh, we got a corner, though. Let us take the corner. Quick, quick. Let's get it. Get it right there. Ah. It's going to be the match, I think. Get it in front. Get it in front. Ah. Oh. Our season continues to fall apart. Data science hat doesn't work. We go to the dressing room. Tell them their performance was disappointing. I'm disappointed in your performance. End team talk. Continue. Goodness gracious. Let's see how everybody else did. Maybe. Oh, it is squeaky bum time. So what's going on here? Let's go to inbox and take a look at the league table elsewhere here. Root chances post print. For, yeah, we don't want that. So if we go to our standings here, what do we got? <sighs> We've dropped down to sixth place. Tranmere, Northampton qualify for the playoffs. Wa Walsall loss, a Drew. Okay, so they are four points back and they cannot pass us. Chesterfield and Notts County. So it's, it's not that bad, right? We're, there's still a good chance we can make the playoffs, right? So we're two points up on Chesterfield and Notts County. One match to go. A draw would get make the most that they could get us is the same points and we probably would have both teams or at least one of them at least Notts County on goal differential so a draw or a win in our next match would get us the playoff spot we have to look at the positive but oh my goodness we've lost three of our last five our team is falling apart I don't know what to do if you have ideas let me know <laughs> But actually, I might have to play it before this episode comes up and things. Actually, probably not. So if you do have ideas and see this early on Monday, I, I, I'm begging for tactical advice or anything. Something that might work. We need to, to right this ship. We can't fall out of the playoffs. Okay. Anyway, and who do we have here in our last match? Last match, I think it's AFC Wimbledon. Yes, it's AFC Wimbledon, who is a pretty decent squad. We got them on the road. All we need is a draw. They're in 12th place. They have not played well of late as either, so that works in our advantage. Well, anyway, okay, life never, life sometimes isn't easy, I guess. We will be back tomorrow, a special Tuesday edition of Devotion to Promotion to see if we can qualify for the playoffs. So I'll look forward to seeing everybody again tomorrow. We're just going to jump right into the match. I probably won't do an intro. We're just going to hop right in and see how things go. And uh, thank you again for coming by. If you've enjoyed the match despite the result or would like to give us some emotional support, please like the video because we can use all the, I think maybe the likes would help us to win. We could use all the emotional support we can get. Uh, subscriptions, if you're new, would be great. And then if you want to get notified when episodes, episodes come out, please hit that notification button. Um, as always, thank you so much for your support and comments. And I hope you have a great day. And I hope you have a better day than our nun eaten squad had playing Nuts County today. We'll see you all tomorrow for the next episode in Nuneaton's Collapse. Hopefully not. Okay, see ya.